Hello. Welcome to this video on error handling in JavaScript. In this video, let us learn about error handlers of JavaScript. At the end of this video, you will be able to identify the types of JavaScript errors and explain the error handling techniques used in JavaScript. JavaScript plays a major role in adding interactivity to web pages. It is supported by smartphones, desktop browsers, and most modern mobile browsers. JavaScript allows you to access websites or web pages through mobile browsers or desktop browsers. However, JavaScript is a language with confusing errors because it cannot give more information to identify the origin of errors. It gives error messages such as object expected and syntax error. In order to debug these errors, browsers include some basic error handling functions. Before looking at how errors are handled, let us see the taxonomy of errors found in JavaScript. In JavaScript, errors can be syntax error, runtime error, and logic error. The most obvious error is syntax error. Syntax error occurs when you violate the rules defined by JavaScript. For example, you are writing a script to display sum of two variables, but somewhere in the program you missed to put a semicolon. Missing semicolon in a script shows a syntax error. These errors prevent the JavaScript from functioning. When any syntax error occurs in JavaScript, a browser displays an error message with a line number. Similar to syntax error, runtime errors are also displayed in a browser. A runtime error occurs due to improper use of commands. As the name suggests, runtime error occurs while the script is running. Runtime error is also known as exception. For instance, a runtime error occurs if you're referencing a variable, a method, or an object that does not exist, or attempting to utilize a resource that is not available. Look at this statement displayed on screen. This statement results in runtime error because there is no ALLERT alert method in the window object. Here, notice the incorrect spelling of alert spelled with a double L. Another type of error is logic error. This is the most difficult type of error to handle. Logic error occurs when you write the code in incorrect way and do not get the expected result. You cannot track these errors because it depends on the type of logic that you have used in your program. So, in order to handle errors or exceptions that occur during the execution of a program, JavaScript has two types of exception handlers. One is try catch finally statement and the other is one error event. On screen, you can see the syntax of try catch finally statement. From this statement, you can handle the exceptions by writing error generating statements inside the try block. When an error occurs, then the try block throws an exception that is caught by the catch block. Catch block is immediately followed by the try block, which specifies the exception type that you want to catch. The optional finally block always executes its code whether or not an exception is thrown. Let us consider an example. As you can see in the code, the try block contains two statements. If any error occurs in the script, it will not stop the execution. Instead, control will come to catch block. Catch block contains an alert code. So when you execute this code, you will get an alert box with a message, error happened with OK button. When you click the OK button, you will see the statement of finally block, that is, I am here. So it is better to use the try catch block whenever you have a long code or complex code. If you do not use it, then there is a chance that your script may halt in between without giving any clue to the developer. Well, catch block will not execute normally. It is executed only when there is an error in try block. 
If try block runs completely without any error, then the cache block will be skipped and finally block will be executed. Now, we will see another type of error handler, which is one error event. This event handler calls the function when there is an error in the following cases. If an image could not be loaded due to server issues, if an image does not exist in the directory, or the path of the image mentioned in the program is wrong. See the code on the screen which contains wrong image path, that is image slash pick dot jpg. In order to handle this error, we have included the function show error. You can observe that show error function contains an alert message, cannot load requested page. When we run this script, we will get an alert box with the message cannot load requested page because the image is not available. So the error handler function has called for the show error function. This is all about an one error event handler. Let us summarize what we have done in this video. From this video, we came to know about the three types of errors such as syntax error, runtime error, and logic error. We have also learned about the two types of JavaScript exception handlers. One is try catch finally statement and the other is one error event. Thank you for watching this video.